political dialogue. So, I'm Mr. Zaman, and today I'm going to talk about preeclampsia risk doubled in technology assisted pregnancies according to study findings. People who became pregnant using assisted reproductive technologies were found to be over twice as likely to develop preeclampsia than those with traditional pregnancies, according to a study presented at the American College of Cardiology's annual scientific session together with the World Congress of Cardiology. Technology assisted pregnancies achieved through assisted reproductive technologies can either be traditional or gestational surrogacy. Using data from the National Impatient Sample Database, researchers assessed the rates of cardiovascular complications for 5,874 technology assisted pregnancies and more than 2.2 million traditional pregnancies from 2016 to 2018. Comparing the two mass groups and accounting for baseline risk factors, researchers found people with technology assisted pregnancies were twice as likely to develop preeclampsia as people with traditional pregnancies. The initial analysis also found higher rates of supraventricular tachycardia, pulmonary edema, and gestational diabetes among technology-assisted pregnancies. Researchers said these differences were not statistically significant with the analysis using matched groups, suggesting the pre-match associations were likely due to confounding factors. Additionally, people with technology-assisted pregnancies had a longer length of hospital stay by 33%. In the vast majority of the 5,874 pregnancies in the assisted reproductive technology group, the pregnant person was genetically related to the embryo, with only 190 involving gestational surrogates. Researchers also said the gestational surrogates were on average younger and healthier than people using IVF or other reproductive technologies to achieve pregnancy with a genetically related embryo, which could partially explain why the analysis found a relatively lower risk of preeclampsia among gestational surrogates. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.